friends. Oh my gosh, it's been way too long since Miss Jill has seen you. Today we're going to do some, um, a Bible story from our World Story Bible. And it's the story of creation. So I want you to get ready to listen to the Bible story. So we're going to start first by taking a deep breath. Let's inhale and exhale. <sighs> inhale and exhale. <sighs> oh, that felt good. And now we're going to say a blessing. So in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give you a high five for doing all that. So thank you for being with me today. I'm going to read the story and then we're going to have a couple questions that you can think about and then maybe we can sing a song. So here we go. This is from the book of Genesis. Ooh. In the beginning, nothing made sense. It was chaos. The earth hadn't taken shape yet. Darkness was everywhere. But God's spirit was already there, always moving, moving, moving. God decided to set things in order. God made light and saw that it was good. God named light day and darkness night. God created the sky and separated the water from the land. Plants and trees popped out of the ground. God filled the sea with all kinds of fish. And God saw that it was good. The sun shone down brightly during the day. The moon glowed gently at night. Birds burst into the sky. Bugs buzzed through the air. Worms crawled through the dirt. The fields and forests thundered under the feet of all God's animals. And God saw that it was good. God created people, male and female. I have placed my image on you. I bless you, God said. All of this creation is for you. Eat the plants, tend the animals, care for creation, and grow, grow, grow. God looked over all creation. It was very good. Finally, God rested. And look at that beautiful picture there. Okay, let's remember what God created. What are some things God made? Let's think about those things. He made light and dark. Well, he separated the light from the dark. He made land and sea. He made birds and animals and plants. He made people. So look at this picture. What animals can you see on this page? Point to them. I see a sheep, and fish, birds. God created people too. So who created you? God. God created all of us. After God created the world, God rested. Is there someone in your family who likes to rest? Is there someone who likes to take a nap? My husband loves to take naps. He's a napper. Miss Jill really isn't. But when you nap, what do you look like? Can you, can you pretend to nap? God did a lot of work, so he needed to rest after he was done. So what do we need to remember when we hear this story? God created us and he made us special. Each one of us is unique and special. Um, so maybe take some time today and go find things that God has created. Go outside. It's amazing if you take two leaves from a tree and set them next to each other. Are they exactly alike? Probably not. If you um, look at the flowers, how, how many different flowers can you find today on a walk? If I walked outside in my garden, I'd probably find 10 or 15 different kinds of flowers. And the bees love that, don't they? 
but God created bees. So he had to create flowers, so the bees had somewhere to get their food. So what God has created is good. That means you are good, right? Because we're created by God. So always remember that. You are good. Okay, so how about we sing a song? Let's sing Jesus Loves Me. You ready? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. You can rewind that and watch it again and learn the hand signals. That would be great. And the words. Um, so I want to leave you with one last thing. And I'm going to sit here and do it, but I'd love for all of you to stand up and we're going to do our blessing. Okay? And so stand up. You ready? Here we go. And you're going to repeat after Miss Jill. God bless my head, shoulders, knees, and toes. God bless my eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. God bless all of me. Give yourself a hug. And God bless all of you. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope to see you soon. God bless. Amen.